welcome back students so in the first chapter we discussed about frictional force that means when a ball rolls on the ground after some times it will comes to rest when a ball rolls on the ground after some times it will comes to rest it is because of the frictional force between the ground and the ball will which act in the opposite direction of motion which slows down the moving ball and finally the ball will comes to rest so the moving ball will comes to rest because of the frictional force between the ground and the ball between the ground and the ball or between the surface of the ball and the surface of the ground that force will be acting in the opposite direction of motion and due to that the speed of the moving ball will reduce or decreases and finally that ball will comes to rest that's about the frictional force so you know frictional force is a contact force frictional force is a contact force so frictional force means the force that act along two surfaces in contact which opposes the motion of one object over the other frictional force is a contact force which opposes the motion of one object over the other that is frictional force so the direction of motion of frictional force is just opposite to the direction of motion suppose if an object is moving in the east direction frictional force will be acting in the west direction okay frictional force will be acting in the west direction because the direction of frictional force is opposite to the direction of motion <coughs> first one frictional force is a contact force which opposes a rela relative motion between the surface of moving objects it's a contact force a rolling ball on the ground stops after some time due to the friction between the surface of the ball and the surface of the ground when we stop paddling a cycle it gradually slows down and finally comes to rest it's because of the frictional force between the surface of the wheels and the surface of the ground so when one object tries to move over the other object a frictional force will be there in between the two surface of contact <coughs> a frictional force will be there in between the two surface of contact and that force will oppose the motion of the moving or will oppose the movement of the object and this force will be acting opposite to the direction of the motion suppose if the object is moving towards the right then frictional force will be acting towards the left this is a applied force suppose this one is an object of mass m this one is having an obje uh, object of mass m this is a direction of applied force and in this direction the object moves object moves in this direction frictional force will be acting between the two surfaces frictional force will be acting between the two surfaces in contact and it's opposite to the direction of motion normally the frictional force is represented by f f suppose an object is moving in the upward direction frictional force will be acting in the downward direction frictional force will be acting in the downward direction then now the factors affecting frictional force the factors affecting the 
frictional force that is two factors are there one is nature of the surface in contact and weight of the object nature of the surface in contact and weight of the object nature of the surface in contact means rough surface it's having more friction rough surface will have more friction means for rough surface irregularities will be there irregularities will be there so for rough surface friction will be more and for smooth surface friction will be less suppose if you take two balls uh, when you roll it on a uh, ground and on a marble floor take two balls roll one ball on the ground and the other one on the marble floor the ball which is moving over on the ground will comes to rest first the ball which is moving on the ground will comes to rest first because the surface of the ground is rough so rough surface is having more friction and the object will comes to rest first or it will cover least distance or it will cover a small distance but when the ball that is moving on a marble floor will cover more distance will cover more distance and it will comes to rest because for smooth surface marble floor is a smooth surface for smooth surface friction is less so it will cover more distance and it will comes to rest now second point weight of the object means how hard the object is pressed weight of the object or how hard the object is pressed okay that means the weight of the object so if the weight is more then it's having more friction if the weight of the object is more means it's having more friction or it's more harder it's pressed harder okay so it's having more friction if the weight of the object is less then it's having less friction it's having less friction so if you want to uh, move an object which is having 5 kg and uh, 1 kg yeah for 5 kg the weight is more so it's having more friction or you need to apply more force for 1 kg the weight is less means less friction you need to apply less force now what is the reason for this <coughs> here from this diagram is clear how hard this object is pressed friction is more if the surface are hard pressed harder means from here you can analyze that the weight of this object is more weight of this object is more okay weight is more here weight of this object is less so frictional force is less what is the cause of friction what is the reason for frictional force when one object tries to move over the other that is friction is caused by the interlocking of irregularities between the two surfaces in contact it's due to the interlocking of the irregularities of two surfaces in contact when you view the two surfaces with the help of a microscope you can see so many irregularities are there this one is not a smooth one so many irregularities are there when that two surfaces will try to move over the other or when one object tries to move over the other that irregularities get interlocked that in irregularities get interlocked and that leads to friction and that leads to friction 
so friction is due to the interlocking of irregularities between two surfaces in contact friction is caused by the irregularities on the two surfaces in contact even though surfaces which appears very smooth have a large number of irregularities that is very minute irregularities in them irregularities on two surfaces lock into each other when we attempt to move any surface we have to apply a force to overcome these irregularities no to overcome this interlocking so if you want to move an object you need to apply a force that is used that is used to overcome the interlocking so rough surfaces there are larger number of irregularities so the friction force is greater in rough surfaces so rough surface the irregularities will be more, more means when we try to move an object over the rough surface the interlocking between the two surfaces will be more so you have to apply more force to overcome this interlocking okay that means you have to apply more force against the frictional force for rough surface the frictional force will be more so friction is caused due to the interlocking of irregularities between two surfaces in contact smooth surfaces have minute inter irregularities between two surfaces friction smooth surface will have minute irregularities between the two surfaces but for rough surface having large irregularities between the two surfaces so frictional force will be more if the surface is rough or you need to apply more force to move an object in rough surface than in smooth surface than in smooth surface the force of friction will increase if the two surfaces are pressed harder you can experience it by dragging a mat when no one is sitting on it we can easily drag it if someone is sitting on it then we need to apply more force to drag that mat that means friction depends upon two factors one is the nature of the surface second one weight of the object or how hard the object is press towards the surface so nature of the object for rough surface more irregularities will be there means frictional force will be more smooth surface less irregularities will be there that means the frictional force is less then how hard the object is pressed or weight of the object for uh, more weight frictional force will be more means we need to apply more force to drag a um, mat which is having a person sitting on it less weight means less friction we can easily drag a mat if no one is sitting on it okay so that's about friction and its causes and factors depending on friction okay so frictional force means it's a contact force it's a contact force that uh, this force will act between two objects in contact and the direction of force will be just opposite to the direction of motion the force acting on two surfaces in contact which opposes the motion of one object over the other it will oppose it will always oppose the motion of one object the other means it the direction of force frictional force will be acting opposite to the direction of motion two factors are there that depends upon the frictional force one is the nature of the surface second one is a weight of the object now frictional force is uh, caused due to the interlocking of the irregularities between the two surfaces in contact it's due to the interlocking of the irregularities 
between the two surfaces in contact okay so that's about this class thank you